Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on list and identify SE Linux file and process context. So um, let's continue on the SE Linux uh, train. So again, that's security enhanced Linux. So that just locks down the system a bit more. So the processes and um, are protected in a way that um, if they if someone hacks into it, then they can't escalate their permission by, you know, running some script or something like that on top. So it's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice solution there. But you can read more up on it um, on the Red Hat uh, website. So a context, you will see pretty much everything on SE Linux, on everything on the system when SE Linux is running, um, has. Um, a context. So there's a few ways to view this. So let's just go to the root directory because I'll have more context applied because it's default system stuff. Uh, so we can do an ls, so you know, uh, list files. And if we could just do uh, ls minus l as we, as we more normally do, we can just see a list of all the files. Now if we do an ls minus z, capital Z, we can actually see some additional information here. So we can actually see uh, the user system object, uh, which is the um, role, and then the context. So these are the three important things. So the main thing we want to cover here is the context because that will be what's covered in the exam. However, these two um, are important to at least know. So you can actually just have a look at what your context is, uh, what your um, role and user is. So if you do id minus z, you can see you're just unconfined at the moment. So basically, SE Linux doesn't really know anything about you. But because they are unknown directories, they will have already context. So we can see this quite quickly as well with um, we're running processes to see what pro, um, context they're currently running as. So if we do a PS minus capital Z, we can see um, what we are currently running. So if we just do an AUX um, to expand that. So it's all um, executables, we can see. So you get a long list this way. And you'll get not just for your user, but for any other additional users. And that way we will actually get some additional contexts. So we can see, for example, yes, so we've got system U, system R, so system role, and then network manager is the context. So you can see a specific context because this is actually NM display, that's network manager display there. So we actually do the classic one, let's do SSH. And just do a grab for SSH. And we should see. Yes, here we go. So system user, uh, system role, SSHD context. So there's a specific context there that's for uh, SSH. And you can see a bit more information about who's running and stuff like that as, as you can with um, this. But you can see, yeah, you can see the different contexts um, that's available. And if there are quite a lot of, um, there are pretty much contexts for almost every single type of application, but obviously, the uh, niche ones may be not covered um, by SE Linux by default. So that's really all we need to do as part of the exam. So ls minus z to list out the context of files. We can, if we just go back to uh, the home directory for us, um, so we just do it clear again. If we just do an ls minus z, you will see everything still, in most cases, um, unconfined which means it doesn't care about it. The object, and you can see it's admin home. So it has to set some things. So if I go into my own home directory, and again, minus, uh, minus Z, we should just see, yeah, user home, see? That's the context. The role is object and unconfined. So it's not really much to mention there. Um, so we can view all the different contexts that are available. If we just do a cat, etc., se Linux, and then targeted, and then context, 
we actually have it in uh, files. So we could go, let's go users, as we've seen that one before. We got root, staff, sysadmin, unconfined, user, and guest. And you can see a bit more information about it and how it's configured. But that's more um, the too advanced for the RHC CSA. The, the really the the two things I just wanted to show you where that is kept. That's really all that's there. And the main things to learn are the ls minus z to get the uh, context which you have to uh, list out, and the um, ps minus z to get anything running by yourself uh, with that. And you can do a ps minus z a u x to list it out completely all the different services that are available. Obviously, you have to be as a root user to be able to get access. But you can see. Um, a lot of the well-known applications are running with a specific context, like again, network manager there uh, for the WPA supplicant. Uh, but yeah, you can see a long list of applications and lots of specific ones like kernel. So you've got some of the uh, XFS services uh, running under kernel context, which makes sense. So you can see, yeah, it thinks um, got a specific um, context of assigned to it. And then based on that context, obviously, it will do the, the management of the security of that. So if it, perhaps if it's a kernel context, then it'll expect it to behave in a certain way. Whereas if it's a, if it's a, a user uh, user directory context, then you expect it to behave in another way. So you can see that, that the uh, relationship there. As always, I put my uh, Kofi page on here. Um, so yeah, if you've if you've got any inclination, please uh, drop a donation. That'd be awesome. Uh, then I've got my T Public um, for any T-shirts or anything like that. If you're interested in anything like that, uh, my Discord page for any questions. Um, Starting to get a bit more active, which is fantastic. Um, as always, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, that'd be much appreciated. Um, I'm trying to reach the uh, 1K goal. We, we're nearly there, so um, please help out where you can. Um, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again.